Good morning, friends. Happy Easter week. This is so fun. Easter is one of my favorite times of the year, mainly because it's spring and it means good warm weather is coming and Miss Jenny loves summer. So, we're celebrating Easter this week and our book today is called The Night Before Easter. Have you heard of a book that starts with The Night Before? Ah, there's one at Christmas time, isn't there? So this one is going to be an Easter version of that. So is the Santa Claus going to be in this one? I don't think he's going to be in it. But it does look like we're going to have an Easter bunny, isn't it? The night before Christmas. Oh, I said the night before Christmas. The night before Easter. i got to read. "'Twas the night before Easter, just before dawn, not a creature was stirring out on the lawn." Everybody's asleep. Is that when the Easter Bunny comes? When everybody's asleep? I think so. You're gonna have to excuse the chewing noise. It's my puppy. Okay? Our baskets were set on the table with care in hopes that the Easter Bunny soon would be there. Look at there's a kitty cat sleeping in one of them. Oh my goodness, it's silly. Silly, silly, silly. Sister and I were tucked snug in our beds while visions of jelly beans danced in our heads. Do you get jelly beans from the Easter Bunny? Hmm, what's your favorite candy that the Easter Bunny brings? There's so many of them. Then out in the barn the hens made such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. When what to my curious eyes should appear but a big fuzzy rabbit with a crook in his ear. There he is. Oh boy. Exciting. Exciting. <laughs> he walked on two legs, which I thought was quite funny. No rabbit could do that except Easter Bunny. There he is. Let's let all the animals look at him. He sniffed at a pansy, a tulip, a rose, jumped over a shovel, a rake, and a hose. He's just being all sorts of silly out there, isn't he? He must be having lots of fun. Then up to our house in just a few hops, he came bearing chocolates and striped lollipops. You see the little boy poking his eyes out the window up here? He's watching. As I sat on the stairs, not making a sound, that swift, dapper bunny sprang in with a bound. Look, he kind of scared the kitty cat awake, didn't he? His soft fur was spotless from his head to his toe. His vest was all checkered, his tie in a bow. His eyes, how they sparkled, his whiskers, how merry. His tail was like cotton, his nose like a berry. You think that's what the Easter Bunny looks like? I don't know. Must be, huh? He made not a sound, but went straight to his treasure. Filled up our baskets, adding more for good measure. Look at all that stuff in the Easter baskets. That is a lot of stuff. Lots of candy. Chocolates and chicks and candy galore spilled from our baskets and onto the floor. The kitty likes that. And the mouse and the little chick. And just when I thought that the bunny was done, he picked out some eggs, looking over each one. And there's a little boy still watching. He carefully hid them on couches and chairs, the mantel, the bookshelf, and under the stairs. didn't know the Easter Bunny had eggs. Hmm, maybe we better look for some this year when he comes. When our rooster crowed, he turned with a start. He wiggled his nose, then went to his cart. He sprang from the house with a single bound and bounced down the street without making a sound. There he goes. I read his note as he hop hopped away. Happy Easter to all. And to all, a great day. Easter is a great day to spend with your family, isn't it? So, there is our Night Before Easter book. It's a pretty silly book. 
So you should have lots of fun things to do to celebrate Easter in your playgroup and home bags. And I will see you next week, friends. Have a great Easter. Bye.